Nature's Basket already is a very strong, great brand and it exists both as Nature's Basket in itself as well as Godridge in the minds of customers. How do you take it now to the next level? We said we need to put the customer at the heart and everything will get sorted. When we started looking at the business and we realized that we are pivoting towards a new value proposition, you know, your idea about design is not frivolous. It's not about just a store doesn't have to look nice. It has to fit your strategic intent. How does all of that translate into a retail experience? As you rightly said, keeping consumers at the heart and looking at it holistically and sensorially. And I always found that your international perspective, the different projects, your understanding of business helped a lot. Some of the things you said, Abni, do a prototype, how you should plan for it. And I instantly knew that if we were to go for a new project design and change the way Godrish Nature's Basket looked, I would look up to you in terms of making the choices. And I think it's been fantastic. We were talking about the prototype and yes. you said, look, we have this flagship store that might just fit what you were talking about in that prototype model. What was great about that store is that double height space. Yes. This whole idea of abundance of space. I think when we looked at the whole space, the entire team looked at customer sensorial journeys. So when you enter, what is the aroma that you get? So sure. is the bakery the first point? Right. Then wowing them with the freshness of the fruits and vegetables. And I vividly remember you saying Godrich Nature's Basket has to be a brand that redefines space design retail experience for India. And all the different steps that the customer takes in the store should remind him that this is rooted and this is definitely innovation coming from our country. The first idea that sparked off was granary. An important part of our childhood memories of going to an actual granary and you know with our mothers or grandparents. I remember my grandmother going to the granary yes. to get fresh atta and, and from that evolved that idea that our customers can come in and maybe they can have their choice of grains Absolutely. freshly ground and, and packaged for them right there. We wanted to invoke some kind of provenance which was Indian, uh, which brought back memories, which resonated with the Godrej brand. Which is authentic. How Absolutely. How can we create that, yet keeping an international experience overall within the store? At every point of the design discussion, you always said, this is our per square foot cost. And Abney, you told me at the beginning, that's what you can afford and that's what will make this viable. Because Absolutely. a sustainable, profitable store is really Absolutely. the end journey for Nature's Basket. And as a design person, it also brought out your business leadership in constantly telling us, this is the end result and I will help you get there by doing the entire design management. We do pride ourselves here at Godridge um, on the design and innovation side. Um, we do like to wear a business hat. It is very important from a time, cost and quality perspective to get it right. For us, it's about an optimal balance because we work on this unique uh, co-creation, co-ideation format, our studio uh, with another studio and That's in this right. case Lotus. We found them to be very open-minded. What I love about Lotus is their creative genius is impeccable. They truly understand the meaning of partnering with a client and they have a great sense of ownership and I think overall the whole journey has been to my mind very fulfilling. You have been very very gracious in the way that you have allowed for uh, design to add value. Your team and you seem to be very happy with yes. the way it's gone Absolutely. and uh, uh, we are already having chats about the second few, and third store. <laughs> few uh, <laughs> other stores which is very all very very exciting for us